Sons and Daughters of Holly is Holly's historical society. It is more than 100 years old, but was incorporated in 1980, and with the assistance of the town, was able to acquire the old 1846 Meeting House building as their home. In 1922, the steeple of the building blew off and was not replaced until 1992 with an effort of the Sons and Daughters fundraising. They were able to replace the steeple on the building and do a number of other repairs, such as stabilizing the foundation, which had washed out. And in the mid-2000s, built this handicap ramp that you see going around the back so the cars can actually drive up to the back of the building and people can walk in instead of going up the staircase that's in the front. With the help of the Franklin County Sheriff's Department in Greenfield, we've been able to keep the building painted and in good repair. And two years ago, we had all the windows completely repaired. New glass, new mullions where needed, new ropes, full ropes, and painting seals were broken so that the windows could be opened in the hot summer weather. The inside of the meeting house is a beautiful facility High ceilings, has a balcony that currently is not used, seats over a hundred, and has great acoustics. As mentioned before, the windows have been completely redone and are in excellent condition. Our problem now is the work that needs to be done to restore some of the ceiling. You can see cracks that are in the walls and the ceiling where the horsehair plaster is deteriorated. And in some cases, we actually have some areas that are threatening to fall down. We hope to stabilize those with some money earned through this year's Valley Gives Day activity. The first project is to repair this missing plaster that's up over the balcony we have an estimate to do that. We plan to begin in the spring as soon as we can uh, line the money up to do the project. Every December we have an illumination party here, the second Sunday of December. And we put candles in all the windows and we light this big chandelier, which is an oil chandelier and we sing songs and drink hot chocolate and cider. The second building owned by the Sons and Daughters was the former Hoyoke Boys Club dining hall building right across the street from the meeting house. It was built in the early 1960s and pretty much abandoned by 1990 and was donated to the Sons and Daughters of Holly in 2006. At that time it needed a new roof, handicap ramp, the foundation was collapsing and we needed to fill it in and stabilize it. And by 2010, we had replaced the kitchen with a new kitchen and two handicapped restrooms and insulated that portion of the building. This is one of the handicapped bathrooms with grab rails and a sink and proper labeling. The other one is at the other end of this hall. This is the new kitchen, new floors, new ceiling with insulation, lights, multiple refrigerators for use by the group, big commercial sink, and a new gas range for some of the functions we hold here. This is our functions building. We hold potlucks, we hold our tag sale here. 
um, and a number of other things where we need a big gathering space. This was the dining hall area of the boys club before it was converted to the Holly Grove for use in tag sales and big dinners. We have had seven giant tag sales here and raised almost $25,000 for projects that the sons and daughters have done on various buildings. <laughs>